So just about set now. And on the hill in this one, Austin Gomber. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with Leading when it seems like the there's more pressure, the he's down. more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible yeah. job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. You'll want. Right through there for a strike. Oh, this guy's so comfortable hitting with two strikes. Even a good pitch early in the at bat. If he's not ready to pull the trigger, he's not worried if he gets to an 0-2 count. That's off the mark. Now one and two. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well. So much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike if he swings or not. And Mookie takes. him out without a swing. Buckled him with the backdoor breaking ball for strike three. Well, that'll make you smile out there on the mound or maybe pump out your chest a little bit farther. That's about as good of a backdoor curveball as you'll ever see. Right on the black and not surprisingly, just locked him up in the box. Will Smith in the box now as he leaves that one up high. High fly ball out towards left field. Kate going back on this one. Couldn't get to it before it dropped foul. And now the lefty. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. That is her. The first base is one down. Freddie Freeman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. He's got the power but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Freddie Freeman delivered a master class in 2023. Freeman and Betts fed off of each other's success, and it helped Freeman produce a 977 OPS, 29 home runs, and more than 100 RBIs. That's a great season. And there's a foul ball. pitch ground ball right side could be two to second for one and that's two one hit in the inning but nothing more than that the Rockies coming up we've got no score back here in Denver and on the hill for the Dodgers, Michael Grove. Chris, he's got the ability to take control of the game when he's out there. Well, incredible mound presence, and he's going to attack hitters. Look at that strikeout per nine ratio over 10 coming into this start. So he's a pitcher that wants the ball. He's aggressive. He knows that he can get the swing and miss, especially when he needs it most. We'll see how effective he is in this one. Charlie Blackman, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. one oh and back, another Jack ball Jack. and that one fouled off the two one Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Didn't recognize off speed. Thought it was fastball. A little bit out in front. On the ground right side. Boots it. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first out. Time to check out the Rockies lineup. 
Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Brenton Doyle. And Boog, we're talking about a guy who has great wheels and then puts them to good use. He's the team leader in stolen bases and run score, man. Using his speed to just get in the scoring position and then just flying home when the guy's behind him put the ball in play. I absolutely love watching him do it because he causes havoc on the base paths. Brenton Doyle in the box now. No balls and a strike. Swing to miss. I think he was sitting off speed there. One out, base is empty. Come back into the mound. Here tonight, an efficient start to the home first, two away. That Next for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Ball and that's outside. Out. And that's ball one. Two out spaces empty. That's a strike across the top of the zone. One and one. So now one and two. Clearly was sitting on a fastball right there. It just ended up out in front of the slider. Hey, you can't fault him for his commitment. Now he's just going to have to battle with two strikes. And down on strikes. Three up, three down, inning over. Rockies are down quietly. Scoreless after one. Second inning, set to go. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. Gomber, a 6'5 lefty, 220 pounds, and he was drafted in the fourth round back in 2014. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. The 0-1. Left field. Kate pulls that one down, and there's one away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. At the play, Andy Pajes. Swing and a foul straight back. One down, base is empty. Breaking ball inside. And one and one. Definitely a swing and miss slider down and in. He finished that really well. Just couldn't get him to offer at it. High fly ball out of the left center field. Kate moving under it. He's got it. And there's two away. Here's Jason Hayward. Upstairs. No score here in the second. It's the call, and it's one and one. The lefty fires. Got him swinging. Dodgers down in order. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. We head to the bottom of the second, and now the veteran third baseman, Ryan McMahon. But when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. 
stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. Playable bets makes the grab, and there's one away. One away. Jacob. Stallings. Jacob Stallings now. Popped up. Bet settles underneath it. Brings it in. And there's two down. No, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Here's Michael Tolia. Taken high in the draft. He's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform. But at some point, that starts to go away, and you've got to produce at the big league level. That just misses, and it's 1-0. Oh. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. You've got to make him uncomfortable. Yeah. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do one whatever ball, it takes. Break. All tied up, bottom half of inning number two. Pitch Ball's misses, it. two and one. Base hit, that was smoked through the infield. And that extends the inning. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Runner at first with two away. Jake K now at the plate. strike one man I mean nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was told you off of first with two away that one catches the zone and it's nothing in two perhaps not quite ready to hit first two pitches by him for a couple of strikes now back is against the wall he's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly swing and a miss for the strikeout chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three so one left for Colorado will move to the third with no score and we're back now here is Gavin Lux Gomber back to work. Just oh, missed. That's in there. One ball, one strike. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Left hand hitter waits. And out to an one. Rips that one to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. One up, one down. Good piece of hitting right there. Nice hard line drive to the outfield. You're trying to get on base, represent that go-ahead run. Can't hang your head on that at all. Kevin Biggio, batting with one down, takes a strike. Base is empty one away. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And that one hammered. That's back there. In one hops off the wall. Should be extra bases. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Everything came together for him. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. Here's the catcher, Austin Barnes. Hey. 
in there at the knees. And it's 0-1. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. The pitch. Runner at second here, one gone. Quickly into an 0-2 count. Both pitches were down in the zone. I think you set your sights a little bit higher because you'll have a tendency to chase if you look down in that area. Next pitch inside, and it's one and two. That's foul off to the right side, keeps the A.B. going. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Man, it's second. That That's just awesome. misses the count now, two and two. Kicks and deals. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. One out and a runner at second. Swings and misses, struck him out. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way, so credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. So the batting order turns over. Here's Mookie now. 0 for 1 after striking out looking to start the game. The yeah. shortstop takes the ball. Runner at second. Two down. Wouldn't chase that time. Well, no need to go right at this guy. First base is open. He can hurt you, so make him expand his zone. If he doesn't, give him a walk. Man on second, two down. In the three dirt, up. ball three. Will Smith up next for the Dodgers. Two outs. In for a strike. And it's three and one. Top of the third, no score. Out to short. In plenty of time to first. And Betts is gone. Third out. One left for LA. Still no score. And welcome back to the ballpark. And now the first baseman, Lowry's Montero. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Fastball for a strike. Check swing, did he go? Yes, he did. That one a little below the knees. Now one and two. Try to get him to chase on the change up that time. Got it by him for the K. And now it's the switch hitting second baseman, Adael Amador. That's in there, and that's strike one. Oh. 
One down, base is empty. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. And he deals. Just off the outside edge. And a count one, one and two. two. And there's a ball. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. So the Rockies lineup turns over. Here's Charlie Blackman. Up the middle. Dives, but he kicks off his glove. He decides to eat it, and he's on it first. Brenton Doyle digging in for the Rockies. Doyle really thriving with the bat this season here at home. foul ball there if you're a base runner you got to stay dialed in here look for anything in the dirt try your best to get into scoring position that's to third they take the force out that's the inning the Rockies strand one and we are still scoreless Back here in Denver, John Chompy with Chris Singleton and set to lead off the fourth, Will Smith. The line of the pitch. Puts the corner, 0-1. Right through there for a strike. Well, he had a pretty good look at that pitch and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch I see in this at bat to hit. The one, two. And that's a little high. That's a really good take. Stays alive. The line to kick the pitch. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Chop to third. And that one handled. Sends it across the first. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Those plays can be tricky. They're routine, but that doesn't mean it's always going to be smooth. He delivered a good play right there. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Bounce to the right side. He'll do it himself. Oh. Two quick outs here in the top of the four. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. And now Teoscar Hernandez. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Two down, nobody on. And now two and nothing. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Next offering way upstairs. He hasn't fallen behind in the count like this all day. He's in danger of walking his first batter right here. 
Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. And he walked him on four pitches. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Andy Pajes. Fly to left his first time. This is again five in a row. Got a two out walk. Got to erase that and really go to work on the hitter. You got to go ahead and just let him steal if he's going to. Try to create the swing and miss and get out of this jam. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. And you wonder, is he in his head a little bit? Even if the base runner doesn't steal right here, what's great is that he is dividing the attention of the pitcher and may serve to give his teammate a better pitch to hit at the plate. Good no. eye on that spot. Back when you played, it wasn't the empirical data we have now. It was a guy with a ruler and a diamond taking a colored pencil and drawing a line where he thought someone had hit the ball, right? <laughs> that or just going off of gut or feel what does it look like his swing is today what's the pitcher throwing they are sticking to the metrics and what seems to be most consistent for that hitter regardless of who the pitcher is on the mound two outs line and that's a base hit and that moves the go-ahead run to score in position with two gone. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. And up next for Los Angeles, Jason Hayward. His first at bat was a strikeout. Splits the plate. It's 0 and 1. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. It's so hard to slow yourself down when you see that juicy breaking ball, but the most success happens when you try to take that right back up the middle approach. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Hot shot to first base, and he snags it to end the inning. Dodgers strand a couple, and we're still knotted at zero. Ezekiel Tobar digs in now. His home and away splits there. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Bounce to the left side. Down the line, and it's foul. And yeah, the right-hander deals. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Next offering is in for a strike. Three. Got him looking. One gone here. Ryan McMahon steps to the plate. Glide out his first time. And that one fouled off. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Hit in the air. Left field. Hernandez settles underneath it. Squeezes it. Two up, two down. The back. The captain. Jacob Stallings. The next to hit. Oh, All for one with a fly out. Oh, 
Wouldn't Help chase that out. time. Next offering is in for a strike. That's through there for a strike. Swing and a line drive. Base hit out of the center field. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Michael Tolia digging in for the Rockies. Just missed. And the righty deals. Swings and misses. And the count even at one. That clips the inside corner for a strike. Stallings off of first with two away. Righty to the plate. Just misses with that one. Lifted in the air down the left side. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And that will end the inning. So one left for Colorado. Through four. Still tied. Zip, zip. Field. Now it's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. And the pitch. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. Next one is off the plate, and it's 2-0. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Two ball, one strike. And a 2-1 on the way. And fouled off. Got him swinging. And one out now. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Biggio in the box lays off for ball one. One down, base is empty. That hey. one finds the zone, and it's one and one. Whoa, and another right ball. There. Looks like he's being a little cautious with him in this at bat after doubling the first time up. Doesn't want to make another mistake. Good eye right there. Austin Barnes. Waiting to bat for the Dodgers. Base is empty one away. And we're at the top of the fifth. Lifted in the air out to left. He's under it. Makes the grab for the second out. And next for L.A., Austin Barnes. He was a strikeout victim his first time. In for a strike, going along. Aye. 
Fought off foul. Fouls it back with two strikes. And a pitch. And one that one almost hit him. Strike. That misses. And the count is even two and two. That one the other way. And foul ball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And it's a three up, three down inning. Swan doesn't get the call. Ball one. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Just missed. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. That one is absolutely belted. Pajas on a dead sprint, racing back, and it's off the wall. And that's a leadoff double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been, but obviously you have to be happy with that result. Winning run in scoring position now, so a catch a B could end this one. Looks like we've got a substitution at second. Coming in as the pinch runner, Greg Jones. He's a potential winning run, so they're hoping he can score in a base hit. Runner in scoring position, no outs. And now here is Elauris Montero. And that one fouled off. Winning run at second, no outs. Last half of inning number five. Next offering is in for a strike. He's fallen behind in a huge spot, Boo. Got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. Ball one. Try to get him to chase on a change up that time. The winning run on second base. Woo. Swing and a miss struck him out. Not what you're looking for after the leadoff double. A strikeout, and there's one away. Adael Amador digging in for the Rockies. Struck out swinging his first time. Oh, how he'd love to walk it off right here. Swings through that one out in front that time. Oh, he's been incredibly efficient in this one. First pitch strike percentage over 70%. That's well above league average, and that's what's allowed him to pitch well up until this point. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throws the first in time. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And here comes the Dodgers manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Michael Grove won't go any further. We'll be back in a minute with a new arm on the mound. New pitcher on now, Shohei Otani. On for his Major League debut, so we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. 
He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium, but the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this one. Blackman up for the third time here, watches that one miss. Jones stands at second with two gone. Next pitch in for a strike. And now it's even one and one. Activity in the bullpen for the Dodgers. Anthony Bonda looks to be getting ready for manager Dave Roberts. And another ball. Back to back breaking pitches away you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitchers afraid of you that he doesn't want to challenge you so I think the confidence level is raised right here. That one misses and it got his three and one. Brenton Doyle in the on deck circle. Man at second. 3-1 and he couldn't come up with it. So up next, Brenton Doyle. It's a good spot to be in with runners on first and second. You know the pitcher is going to come after you. That one not close. 1-0. Last thing he wants to do is nibble, load up the bases and then walk in the winning run or throw it to the backstop and bring in that winning run. Swings and misses. Strike one. Just missed. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Swings and misses. And now two and two. That split is a pretty nasty pitch. Explodes out of the hand. Looks like a fastball, and the bottom just falls out of it. First and second, two down. And a foul ball. He stays alive. The pitch. Got him swinging for the K. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. Well, this guy competes hard. We see the emotion there. I love it. Great job of getting out of the jam. Now into the game, Greg Jones. He'll be out in left field. Number 28. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And yeah, the batter now, Mookie Betts. Gomber back to work. That's in there. That's strike one. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Turned on, but foul wide of third. Kicks and fires. The shortstop takes a ball. Not close with that one. Two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Right side, Amador. Tosses the first. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Not a bad outcome in that spot. The runner moves up to third, and now they have a chance to drive in the go-ahead run. It's not a hit, but at the end of the day, it's a good at bat, especially when you're playing extra innings. The batter now will be Will Smith. Oh. 
close one doesn't get the call. Ball one. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. The pitch. And that one fouled off. Runner on to third, one gone. Next pitch is inside, and it's two and one. Now a high fly ball out to left center. And they get the out on Smith. Runner tags from third. Play at the plate. Safe, and they take the lead. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner right third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. That one misses. And that's ball one. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. 1-0 to Freddie Freeman. Line drive, base hit. Joey gets on base and keeps it going. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Digging in, Teoscar Hernandez. Hey. A little out front there as he swings oh, through it. Clips the corner, and the count is 0 and 2. Here comes a pinch. That one missed ball. by a lot. And that is ball one. And here it comes. Outside low. And the count's even at two. And another ball. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. That's a good at bat right there. He was down early in that plate appearance. Works the walk. Pitch count's getting up there now, and not saying that's the reason for this walk, but this is the point in the game when every sign of wavering starts to get everyone's attention. In the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. And ball one. I got a ball, one strike. Two outs. A couple of base runners at first and second. Wouldn't chase that time. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That one back there. And it's gone. He flexes his power with that swing. His second homer of this series. It's 4-0. Man, he just barely got that one out of here, and you got to love the effort and left to try and bring it back. He had a good shot at it, just couldn't quite pull it off. It would have been a stunner if he did. Here's Bud Black towards the mound, and we're going to see a pitching change here. Austin Gomber gives way, and we'll be back with their first arm out of the pen after a quick break.
New pitcher in the game for the Rockies, Ty Block. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team, and there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. So two away with nobody on. Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And that's through there for a strike. And a pitch. On the ground, right side. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly, but they get the out at first, and that'll do it for the inning. So they move out in front after a four-run outburst. Part of the order, 3-4-5 coming up. It's the Dodgers four and the Rockies nothing. Well, we go bottom six. So in now for Colorado, Ezekiel Tovar. The right-hander back to work. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something with all these Rockies just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. So next will be the, the four hole base. hitter for the Rockies. Ryan McMahon. Ryan. McMahon. First pitch doesn't find the zone. All right, singing, you know I'm a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking now pitch counts. Catcher. That's just unreal. Rockies down to their last out. Here's the catcher, Jacob Stallings. One for two. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And that's off the inside edge. And that's ball one. Two outs. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. This could end it. Swing and a slow roller. Biggio. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Dodgers use two pitchers to combine for the shutout. Nice work out of the bullpen for that first MLB win, Boog. They turned to him when they didn't have the lead. He kept things steady, and he's rewarded with the W. A 4-0 shutout in this one. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi saying so long.